The Power of Wow by Crystal Hubbard, illustrated by Eric Velazquez. Characters Ileana, Shane, Mr. Diaz, Jake, Jason, Mrs. Wynn, Erica, Camera Operator, Maria Caponis, Television News Reporter, Act 1, Scene 1, Time, Present, Setting, Inside a Bus Used as a Bookmobile, a Traveling Library in a Dallas, Texas Neighborhood, Mrs. Wynn Sits at the Checkout Counter. Ileana steps inside and sets a heavy stack of books on the counter. Mrs. Wynn. Hi, Ileana. How did you enjoy the books? Ileana. I liked everything but the Greek mythology. Pause. I loved that. Mrs. Wynn, smiling. I almost misjudged you. Which myth was your favorite? Ileana. The one where King Midas turns everything to gold. That wish didn't work out too well. Mrs. Wynn, sighing. I wouldn't mind having the Midas touch today. Ileana, why? Is something wrong? Mrs. Wynn, forcing a smile. Nothing you need to worry about. By the way, we just got the latest Sam Thorne mystery. It's called The Case of the Pet Store Burglaries. I won't give away who the prime suspect is. Ileana, I think you're changing the subject, Mrs. Wynn. Mrs. Wynn, looking down regretfully. I'm afraid Words on Wheels won't be back after next week. Ileana. What? Why not? Mrs. Wynn. Words on Wheels is a pilot program. The prior plan for this past year was for the library to fund WOW, but the year's almost up. Now there's no more money to pay for gas or to buy new books. I'll have to go back to the downtown branch. Ileana. But that's too far away. The only time my grandmother can use a computer is when the wow bus comes. And I'll never get to see you, Mrs. Wynn. Can't the library give you some more money? Mrs. Wynn. The library does its best to assist us, but the money doesn't go as far as we'd like. We rely on community support, and people just don't seem to be interested in contributing to wow. Ileana, I have some money saved. You can have it. All of it. Mrs. Wynn, smiling sadly. That's very generous, Ileana, but I'm afraid it would take King Midas to save Wow, and I doubt if he's going to show up. Scene 2. Setting. Shane's Backyard. Ileana, Shane, and Jason are sitting at a picnic table, sipping juice and munching snacks. Shane, shaking his head. Wow, that's bad news about wow. Ileana, could we do without the pun, Shane? This is serious. Shane, looking innocent. What did I say? James, so what did Mrs. Wynn mean by community support? Ileana, she meant that donations from people in the community help pay for the library's special programs. Jason, well, we're the community, and if we want to save WOW, we have to find a way to make money to pay for it. Ileana, does anyone have something we can sell? A rare baseball card? Shane, I'd sell my bike, but I need it to get to school. Ileana, right. Maybe there's something we could do to raise money. Shane, I could ask my brother. He and his friends raised money for their school picnic last year. Jake, calling from the back door. Hey, Squirt! Mom says your friends can stay for dinner. We're having mutant chicken. Ileana, looking confused. Mutant chicken? Shane, Jake and I used to fight over the drumsticks, so my mom uses skewers to attach extra legs to a regular chicken. To Jake, hey, we have a question. Jake, sits at picnic table. Make it fast. I'm a busy man. Ileana. We need a way to make some cash. The WOW program ran out of money. So tell us how your class paid for last year's picnic. Jake. We did a lot of things. Picks up a handful of snacks. You could have a bake sale. Jason. Is that what you did? 
Jake. Nope. We held a car wash one Saturday morning, and we earned enough money to pay for the picnic. Ileana, perking up. A car wash! Jason. Let's do it! Shane. Works for me! Jake. Whoa, hold on. You can't just stand on the street and yell, car wash! You have to organize it. You need a place and supplies. You especially need a water source, and you have to advertise. Shane resigned. Wow. I guess it's going to take a lot of work to say wow. Ileana. You did it again, Shane. Shane. Oops, sorry. Jake to Ileana and Jason. Tell you what, if you guys are staying for mutant chicken, we can discuss ways to save wow. Ileana. Great! Act 2, Scene 1. Setting, Diaz Bakery. Mr. Diaz stands beside a counter next to a glass case filled with pastries. Ileana, Shane, and Jason enter the shop wearing hand-lettered buttons that say, Pow Wow. Each of them carries a stack of papers of assorted colors. Mr. Diaz. Hola, niños. He reads buttons. What's Pow Wow? Shane. It stands for Please Open Wallets for Words on Wheels. Ileana thought of it. Mr. Diaz, what scheme are you kids cooking up now? Ileana, taking a deep breath. We'd like to ask you for a favor, Uncle Carlos. Words on Wheels needs money so it can keep coming to the neighborhood. Mr. Diaz, reaching for his wallet. So you'd like a donation? Ileana, not that kind of donation. See, we'd like to have a car wash this Saturday to raise the money. Our parents donated all the cleaning supplies and we used the WOW computer and printer to make advertisements. She hands Mr. Diaz a bright blue flyer, which he reads. Jason, all we need now is a place to hold the car wash. Mr. Diaz, chuckling softly. And that's where I come in, right? Ileana, well... You are a part of the community, Uncle Carlos. Mr. Diaz. True. He rubs his chin. The hummingbird cake recipe Miss Wynn found online last month has been one of my best sellers. Sure. You can use my parking lot. You can hook up your hose right to the building. Ileana slaps high fives with Jason, Shane, and Mr. Diaz. Gracias, Uncle Carlos. Thank you. Shane. You won't be sorry. Just think of all the people who want to buy pies and cakes while we're washing their cars. Jason turns to Ileana and Shane. The next step is to get the word out. We have to add the location to these flyers and hand them out. Let's stick to the places that we know. I'll go to the Spotless Cleaners and to Teddy's Barber Shop and see if we can put flyers there. Mr. Diaz, may I leave a stack of flyers for your customers? Mr. Diaz, of course! and I'll give a discount on baked goods to anyone who lets you wash their car. Jason. Muchos gracias, Mr. Diaz. Mr. Diaz. De nada, Jason. Shane. I'll go to Big Hit Card Store and Dr. Bonzo's used CDs. Ileana. And I'll take my flyers to Mrs. Romero's Market, the bead shop, and the flower basket. Mr. Diaz. Impressed. You're very organized. Ileana. The bookmobile has lots of information on fundraising. Shane, that's the power of wow. Mr. Diaz, after you finish handing out your flyers, meet back here and I'll show you the power of hummingbird cake. Scene two, setting, parking lot of Diaz Bakery. Jake uses a hose to rinse his father's car. Shane and Jason towel dry a second car. Erica accepts a few bills from the driver and hurries over to Ileana, who holds the cash jar. Erica, excitedly, How much do we have so far? Ileana, sarcastically, A whopping $65. Erica, We've been out here for three hours, and that's it? Ileana, I thought for sure we'd have tons of cars. I guess... Her voice trails off as she stares over Erica's shoulder. Erica turns to see. Hey, check out the van. We should charge extra to wash that big silver pole on top. Jake, jogging over with Shane and Jason. 
That's the Dallas News 7 van. We're going to be famous. Maria Caponis. She exits the van while the driver shoulders a video camera. They walk over. Hi, my name is Maria Caponis. I'm a reporter for Channel 7. Shane, I've seen you on the news. Maria, well, today you're the news. My Aunt Della owns Spotless Cleaners, and she told me about the car wash today. May I speak to the organizer? Ileana reluctantly allows the others to push her forward. Maria, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Ileana, shyly, I guess not. Camera operator, we're on the air in five, four, three, raises two fingers, then one, and points to Maria. Maria, speaking into microphone, I'm Maria Caponis with five remarkable young people. They decided to do something after learning that their beloved bookmobile, Words on Wheels, lacked the funds to operate. I'll let them introduce themselves. Holds microphone to each. Ileana. Hi, I'm Ileana, and this is my sister Erica. Erica. I can say my own name. Sweet lead to camera. I'm Erica, and Diaz Bakery makes the best bread in town. Jason. I'm Jason. Jake. I'm Jake. Shane, he's my brother. I'm Shane, waving. Hi, Mom. Maria to Ileana. Why is the bookmobile so important to you? Ileana, it's the only way a lot of kids in my neighborhood can get library books and use a computer. The downtown branch is too far away, so it's nice to have a library come to us. Showing her button. PAL stands for Please Open Wallets or Power of Words. Erica. Yeah, a book can give you an adventure, Jason. Or teach you something, Shane. Or make you laugh, Maria, speaking to camera. Some have speculated that when a community is in trouble, no one's around. But here's a group of kids who have come together to help one of their own. What about you? It's a beautiful day for a car wash, folks. Camera operator. And we're out. Nice job, Maria. Maria. Thanks. But before we head back to the station, I think the news van could use a good wash. Scene 3. Setting. Parking lot of Diaz Bakery. Kids, parents, and the camera operator are washing a long line of cars. The WOW bus lumbers into the parking lot. Mrs. Wynn exits the bookmobile. Ileana. Look, Mrs. Wynn, holding up the money jar. This is all for WOW. Mrs. Wynn. Ileana, this is unbelievable. Ileana. After Maria Caponis put us on the news, tons of cars showed up. I don't know if there's enough money here to save WOW, but it looks like a good start, doesn't it? Mrs. Wynn. That's what I came to tell you, Ileana. Thanks to your flyers and the news story, people have promised to help. She pulls envelopes from her pocket. All of these contain checks. They're from Spotless Cleaners, Teddy's Barber Shop, The Bead Shop, Mrs. Romero's Market, Channel 7, your parents, and so many others in the neighborhood. Wow can keep running for a long time to come. Ileana jumping in the air. Wow, guys, we saved wow. Shane. I couldn't have said it better myself.